Hi, name's Mike. I'm going to be changing the front brakes on a Saturn SC2. I'm going to take you along as I go ahead and do it. We'll see what happens. We'll see what it looks like. Um, maybe it'll get posted. Maybe it won't. Okay, thank you. We'll get you to the brakes right now. Okay, so here's the brakes. So what we'll do first is, of course, we'll take it off. I got a new rotor. I got the new bracket set up. The whole works. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I'll be right back. I got to get a little drain pan for the fluid that will come out of here. Right back. drip pan gotten. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is back here in the back I'm going to take off the brake hose. So, I'll get out my trusty 11 millimeter for this guy and put it on, put it on here and we'll see how it goes. First day as a mechanic, it helps if you go the correct way. Nobody saw that, did they? Back here is the hose I'm taking off, and as you can see, it's dripping. I got a new. Okay, now I'm going to take my 14 millimeter socket, and back here are the 14 millimeter bolts to take off the uh, caliper. Take off the brake caliper that holds your brakes in. Okay, I'm not going to use 3 8 inch. I also have the 14 millimeter half here and I'm going to use that to get some leverage because I don't know, everything is rusted on this. You know, welcome to Pennsylvania, that's all I can say. Maybe over here, so I can maybe yep, I can bail pound that off. So I'll have to go from here. All righty, one's loose. The top one and the bottom one's loose. So I'll take the bolts out. What I like was it was more expensive, but I actually that way you get everything new. Now the top bolt is the bigger, fatter bolt. If I didn't mention it, I got all new bolts too for this comes in the kit. So All I'm doing is taking bolts out back here. I mean, they're 14 millimeter. I don't have the camera back here because it is actually a pain in the ass to do it that way. Let me be quite clear and quite honest. Now, since this is my first video, um, 
possibly my last video. Uh, I actually work at a, as a fleet mechanic and I work on all kinds of vehicles. All right, um, we'll take this caliper off now. Okay, caliper's off. This has to go back for a core charge too, so we don't want to lose this. Plus, this bracket has to go back. Now your brakes are right here. I'm going to take the whole bracket and everything off. Now all I'm doing is taking the two bracket bolts off the back here. And that is a... 18 millimeter and yes I have I have air tools to do all this but sometimes till you get them out you can have the job pretty much done so comes right off. See the bolt holes. And next, I'm gonna take this off because I got new rotors too. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit in here. Alrighty, I'm going to get the new rotor and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the brand new rotor. Now the first thing that I like to do is take some brake clean, spray her off good, because they do come, most of them have a, a greasy film on them and you want to get rid of that greasy film now the next thing that I do is this is rusty and I could probably hit it with the buffer since I have it here well maybe I will hit it in here with this buffer a little bit Now what I do is to make sure, because I may, I'm probably going to keep this car. I've had this car on and off. I bought it new and had it since it was brand new. I use a little spray grease here. A little dab will do you. And I put that on to help keep it from the rust from sticking. So on goes our new rotor. Now the next thing I next thing I have is I'm gonna get my caliper. And 
and I am back with the caliper. Now the caliper comes with all new parts. There's your little clips that go in here. And as I said, it comes with a new bolt. You got new brass washers for your hose. And you got brand new bolts for your uh, brake thing. The only ones you don't have, you got to reuse your bolts on here. So let's break this part to get it on. Fourteen millimeter. Well, while I'm, and the other thing is, what you want to check is. is if you can see it there's an L on there for a left so you want to make sure you got the right one for the right one it won't fit otherwise but eh, just a little tidbit and once again this is your top this is your top this is your bottom your top bolt pin is bigger. And what I like about doing it this way, getting everything new is, um, you even get new rubbers on here and everything. So you don't have to mess with it. So now this just goes on here with the old bolts. And I am going to use some anti -seize. Makes life a little bit easier. So, put a little dab on here to do you. Like I said, it'll only go on one way. Other bolt at the bottom. And then we will get our ratchet back out, tie them up good.
give her a last tighten up. So now that's tight. So next what I'll do is knock my caps all over the place. Let's get my little my new hardware out here, my new clips. Put those on this little doodad that that goes out and pretty much self-explanatory the way they can go in here. Just put them up. They just go up on here. There's a like I said, there's a certain way they go. If you got these lips out and you put if you got this lip out and put your little notches on here. Okay. So we got that. So now so that slides better. And what I'm gonna do is put some lube right up here on these tabs where your brakes ride and I'll, I'll show you what I mean here when I once I get this on here but be careful not to get it on your freaking brake I usually squirt them with cleaner afterwards but you know alright well, keep that put it down on here alright so now we'll grab the brakes. Zipods. Zigot zipods. Zipods. And what I greased was where these little notches go. Okay. That's what I greased up on the clip. Then they can only go in one way. You know, you'll see your you'll see this rounded part that's indent indented round has to go in so you just put them on there that is that one then the same way with with this one you can see with this one I'll show you a little bit better how this goes in I usually go to the top first and get in around everything. And you get them on there. So now they're on. Now I'll take some of this silicone grease lube so that they don't and put it on the back side of the pads so that they don't screech okay brakes are on yippee so next the caliper here's the caliper like I said the big one goes in the top small one in the bottom this should fit right on here as it does make sure you get your little rubbers up top here where they should be big one on top
Well, we'll go in there. It's just a pain in the butt with that. Okay, there it went in after getting it in. Nothing to it. Was hanging up on the boot. Then I got the small one to put the bottom. Make sure you get through that boot down there. Get my 14 millimeter, tighten those up. Tighten them up good. And it stripped the fuck out. All right, I didn't want to, but I'll put the old bolt stud back in. It seems like it goes all the way in. I don't know what's going to happen here. The threads don't look too healthy on this guy. I'll put a little never seize on it just to amuse myself. Terminology. 